the operators are wearing a really thin, uh, kind of like a mechanics glove, um, so they have that dexterity for uh, all uh, facets of their operation. So when you slide down the fast rope, it creates a lot of heat, so you'll put another glove over top. There's a lot of friction generated, so they have to wear really thick, bulky gloves. The problem is, once they hit the ground, they have to take those gloves off, they have to change out whatever they need to do. Not a, they're not able to handle their equipment tactically. When we're using two sets of gloves just for one portion of the mission, there is a time where you're vulnerable because you're taking the gloves off. I'm particular to medicine, so there's no way that I could use those thick gloves in order to palpate someone's pulse. So we came up with a thin foam insulator which can be used, can either be sewn into an a existing glove that can be used tactically or can be sprayed in ideally. So the idea is with these gloves, they're able to slide down the rope, they're able to use their equipment right away and, and perform their mission without having to change gloves. So the new gloves, uh, they do work. They did reduce the, the heat signature that the, the fast roper is feeling. Uh, they are still uh, not to the point of being the sole glove that you would use throughout all of your mission sets. Right now we're working uh, to integrate this into a, a glove that meets the rest of the user's needs. The hope is to get, these, uh, to get some prototypes out in the next couple months. We'll see where it goes from there and then we'll provide those to the users uh, to see what they think. Whether you're jumping, diving, climbing, fast roping, shooting, treating uh, patients on the ground, it's the one glove that can do it all. That's where I'd like to see it go.